Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Euston Station in London. Tonight we're travelling on the Caledonian Sleeper from Euston to Inverness and I'm excited because it is with a sleeping cabin. This has been on my bucket list for so long and tonight's the night. In fact, tonight is the second attempt at doing this because the first one was cancelled due to a train strike. Sometimes I feel every second YouTuber has featured this train journey. But I'm a little bit different. I offer VAT, value added travel. What is that? Well, for example, the operators of this franchise, Circle, did you know they're losing the franchise in June 2023? Apparently the Scottish Government will be taking over control at arm's length, they say, because the current operation is not good value for money. And they might actually have a point because it's a little bit pricey. And that's what I mean by value-added travel, VAT. Here's another factoid for you. You might be thinking, how can this be the longest passenger service in the UK? What about cross-country service between Aberdeen and Penzance? Well, that is a good one at 785 miles if it's operating. It stopped running in the autumn of 2022, and I believe it's starting again in the spring of 2023. At the moment, as I film this in January 2023, it's not operating. Interesting to note as well, last Easter, I noticed there was a cross-country service operating from Glasgow to Penzance. That was only over the Easter period, but I thought, well, if they're operating that this year, I'm going to do that and I'm going to feature on this fine channel. We've got LNER who operate between um, King's Cross and Aberdeen. Northern Lights, that's what it's called, and that is 523 miles, just. They also have a train called the Highlander, the Highland Chieftain, that operates from King's Cross to Inverness, where we're heading tonight. That is 568 miles. However, how do I know that the Caledonian sleeper is longer? Well, you can go online and find a thing called an online rail mileage calculator. I didn't realize there was a, de a demand for such a thing, but there is, and I'm glad there is. And if you look at the mileage for each sector, for example, Euston to Watford Junction, Watford Junction to Carlisle, Carlisle to Carstairs, all the way up to Inverness, it's 574 miles, which makes it the longest passenger train service in the UK at the moment, January 2023. Anyway, guys, I think we should try and find our um, compartment because A, I'm dying to see what it looks like, and B, it's absolutely freezing here. If it's this cold here in London, what's it going to be like in Inverness? Right, let's get on board. Here's another VAT, value added travel snippet. See the five antlers there? They represent the five destinations of the Caledonian sleeper. Glasgow, Fort William, Inverness, where we're going tonight, Aberdeen, Edinburgh. I'll give you a quick tour of the cabin before I turn it into a disaster area. This is a classic solo and they have interconnecting doors. Whoa. Two USBs. You'd have to put your device down here to charge it.
I mentioned Cercoba losing the franchise. This cabin here is a classic solo because it's being used by one person, but you can get two people in here. With one person, it's barely okay. To have two adults in here, I think would be a real squeeze. And even with a winter promotional discount, it still set me back 152 pounds for this. Expensive for what you get. If there's one thing I enjoy, it's an overnight train trip, especially when I've got a cabin to myself. Now when I booked this, I had a choice to make. I could either head north, open up the blind in the morning and think, we're nearly in Aviemore, look, the Scottish Highlands. Or I could have headed south, opened the blind in the morning and thought, there's London, oh look, Watford Junction. Scottish Highlands, Watford Junction. It was a big, big choice. We've just actually passed Aviemore and we're actually on time. Journey overnight. We've made great progress through the night and we'll be arriving in Inverness in about 10 minutes of time, just before 8 p.m. Please start preparing for our arrival. If you're travelling in the group, please make sure that all members of your party are aware. And so here we are in Inverness. That was loads of fun. I really enjoyed that journey, even though I think I only slept for two hours, one hour and then a break and then another hour. I don't sleep when I'm on the move. Unfortunately, my cabin was number 10, which was right over one of the end bogies. So it was pretty, pretty noisy. 
but uh, the bed was really comfortable. I wish my own bed was that comfortable. It was a good one. Anyway, before I finish this video, there is something very, very important I have to do here in Inverness. Very important. Well guys, that's what I call a full Scottish breakfast. Absolutely delicious, absolutely stuffed. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that journey from Euston to Inverness. I thoroughly enjoyed it. That mattress was actually more comfortable than the mattress I've got at home. Although I still didn't sleep as long as I would like to have. Would I do it again? In a heartbeat, but it is pretty pricey. Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming along with me and I'll see you next time. And that's what I mean by VAT, value added travel. Here's another interesting thing. You may be thinking. I mentioned VAT.